Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing a review of a hair mask that I did in my hair yesterday, last night. So basically what I did was I mixed banana, honey, and jojoba oil. I have oily skin and my scalp obviously has an overproduction of whatever it is. <laughs> So I tend to get dry scalp. I tend to get um, dandruff more so in the edges here as opposed to like actually inside of my head, which is kind of weird. Um, so I'm not sure if it's even um, dandruff or it can be something else. I don't know. But I decided to do a mask. They say honey is really good as an anti-inflammatory and banana is really good for the hair as well. And then obviously jojoba oil is very good for the hair. So last night I decided to put the mask on my hair and sleep in it. So right now it's like super hard and crunchy and I cannot wait to wash my hair because it was extremely uncomfortable sleeping with the mask on. Um, basically what I did was I mashed everything up together. I put it on my hair. I covered my head with this microfiber cloth that I have here and just slept in it and right now it's actually dry so i'm gonna wash it out and then i'm just gonna style my hair how i normally do um and i will show you guys how everything turns out the shampoo that i'm gonna be using is the tea tree lavender mint moisturizing shampoo and conditioner um i read reviews for a ton of shampoos and conditioners because i wasn't sure which one would be good for my hair i often use head and shoulders um and it's been really good at I'm controlling dandruff and controlling um, my dry scalp. So, you know, head and shoulders even, and it's very inexpensive. This was on the pricier side. I believe each bottle was like 30 something dollars. However, it is really, really good for the hair. I try not to use too much, obviously, because I don't want to waste it all. But this is really good for the hair if you do have dry scalp. So I would definitely recommend it. Like I said, it's a little pricey. However, you do get a lot. So this is 33.8 ounces. And I believe I paid maybe like $38 for it. I'll include the price below and a link to the product. So that way you guys can see if you want to get it. So I'm going to wash my hair now. And I will show you guys how it looks after I've washed it. So I'm done washing my hair and I just had it in a towel for a little bit. So I'm going to take it out. And this is my hair after I've washed it. So I have straight hair. Doesn't matter. It's just straight. So my hair has no kind of curl to it. Um, I do see a little bit of the redness. So one thing I'm going to say is just don't scratch your scalp. If you have dandruff or dry scalp, do not scratch it because all you're going to do is irritate it and just make it red and make it worse. So I would definitely recommend do not scratch it um, because it will only get worse. So I am going to utilize my heat spray. So this is the heat spray that I use, this Tresemme heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. But before putting my heat spray, I like to put in a little bit of BioSilk. I got this from Marshalls years ago, but I love the way BioSilk makes my hair feel. Um, it really helps with my ends. So my hair is not dyed. This is my natural color. The only color that I have on my hair is my ends, um, where I have like a little bit left of when I dyed it years ago. So what I'm doing is just putting this into my hair. I'm focusing on the ends because I don't want my scalp to get too oily. So I'm just working that in and then I'm just gonna brush my hair out. So now that my hair is brushed out, <clears throat> I'm going to add in the heat protectant spray. So I like to start at the bottom and then I work my way up. And 
And then I also like to brush that into my hair too. So one thing I noticed about my hair that I did the hair mask, my hair feels so smooth. Like look at that and look at that shine. So it feels super smooth after doing the mask overnight. So I'm gonna see how it comes out when I blow dry. All right, so my hair is set for heat. So what I like to use is the Revlon blow dryer brush, this one here. I love this product. Just be careful with the heat because it can get extremely hot on the high setting. I have very thick hair, so I usually put it on the high setting because if it'll, it'll take me a really long time to dry, if not. So basically what I do is I part my hair above my ears. Then I take the rest and I just clip it up. So I just do like a little bun and then I'll clip it to hold it in place while I'm blow drying the other pieces. So I'm going to show you guys how I blow dry my hair with this product. I'm just gonna move my camera back a little so you can see more of me. So I'm just gonna put it, it has two settings, three settings actually. It has cool, low, and off. So as you can see, here are the settings. And I'm gonna use the high setting just because like I said, my hair is super thick. So I'm not gonna have you guys watch me blow dry all of my hair. Um, so I'm just gonna scoop through it so that way you guys can see the end result. Okay guys, so this is pretty much my hair dry, as you can see. And wow, it is so shiny and it feels so light, so light. And the dandruff that I had on my edges is gone. I only have like a little bit of redness here, but whoa. And I would highly recommend the mask. I will make it in another video for you guys. But like I said, it's really three ingredients. It's banana mashed up, jojoba oil and honey. I would recommend mashing up the banana really, really well because it was just I had a difficult time taking the chunks of banana out of my hair in the bathtub, um, in the shower. So I would definitely recommend mashing it up really, really well and making sure that it's like more of a watery consistency. But guys, look at this. Sorry, that's my dog. Jax, get down. Down. No. Okay, 
I'll let him get a pass on that. He's not allowed on the furniture. Hey, boy. You want people to see you? Say hi. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend if you can look at my hair. This is it right now. Super shiny. It looks super healthy. And I would definitely recommend you guys making this mask. It is super good. I plan on doing it every week. So I will keep you guys posted as to how my hair is holding up. But I'll definitely say it's really worth it. And the blow dryer is obviously great. Dries your hair quickly and it doesn't give you any hassle. Um, you don't have any fuss. You don't have to worry about holding a brush and this. You can just use this. The only, the only thing I would say is just make sure that you keep it close to, try to keep it as close to your scalp as you can because sometimes this has a tendency to, not a tendency, but it'll, it'll dry the hair, but sometimes the scalp will stay a little bit wet. Um, I'm going to just apply a little more of the bio silk to my ends. And then usually after I apply it to my ends, I will bring it up and apply it to the rest of my hair just to control some of the frizziness. But guys, this is awesome. Look at my hair. I love it love it love it love it i've been on a i've been on a journey to really take care of my hair and my body and this is great well guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can see more videos like this i really thank you guys for stopping by to watch my video and i really appreciate everyone who comes to my channel who visits my channel and who is intrigued and interested in the content that i create so thank you guys once again bye